Greetings. So this is going to be a general love reading for the Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. This may also resonate if you have Pisces in your Venus placement of your natal chart. Please keep in mind that this is a general energy reading. So if you are interested in a personal reading, you can check the description box. All the information that you'll need will be there. If you are interested in daily pick a card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at the Spirit God Insight. Also, if you are old or new, newly subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. And if this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, comment. I would love to hear from you all. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I hope I remember how these came up. Yes, I do. Okay. So... I think that this person may be being honest because these are kind of saying the same things to me. I feel like this person um, has made a decision to not move forward with this connection right now. Or maybe they feel like they're not getting their needs met in this connection currently. Um, and so it's like they're trying to obtain it on their own or be single. Um, but we also have the three of cups here in reverse. So it could be an energy of not moving forward with this connection and dating other people. Why is the six of wands in reverse? We have the full card and the four of wands in reverse. So I feel like this person wants to move into something new. Um, I feel like they want to end this connection and move forward. Um, we have the nine of pentacles. Why is that here? We have the five of cups. So yeah, I feel like they want to work on themselves because there's something that is of lack in this connection with you, they feel like. Um, and I feel like they just want to isolate from this connection. Because it's not what they want. Or they're not getting fulfilled. For whatever reason. Let's see. Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? Two of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this person. I don't feel like it was anything that you did wrong. I just feel like this person had other options. Probably from the beginning. And yeah. They want to start something anew somewhere else and delay for movement with you um i feel like they have another option and i feel like this is new and this is you know intense it's a new fresh connection so they're more focused on that um We do have the Five of Cups here in the Sun card in reverse. So I feel like something within this connection just didn't fulfill them. Um, why is the Five of Cups here in reverse? We have the High Priestess and the Empress card in reverse. So it could be that you weren't nurturing to this person or you weren't as open and giving to this person because you knew that this person had other options. Or maybe you found out within this connection that... Um, you know, there was some, you know, dealings with other people. And so you just weren't that offering to them. 
Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. So it was like you were offering them very little, and it was like you weren't moving away from the situation, but you weren't really that eager or that forward moving with restarting the connection. Yeah, we had the higher of the in reverse, so there was no commitment. So it's like this person was unhappy with not being able to get to a place that they wanted to with you because maybe they were being a player here. And it was like needing to move to a calmer place with you, but trying to stay strong and keep confidence within the situation that it would get better but kind of now putting you into isolation or just not prioritizing you okay so yeah these were together okay so then we have the king of cups the three of cups in reverse and the star card Why is the King of Cups here? So I feel like they have intentions of wanting to give this relationship hope. Yeah, we have the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Or yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like at some point they, they're going to want to come in and renew hope into the situation. But I feel like it's for their own fulfillment. But I feel like they want to be with you or they'll come in and maybe offer apologies, um, offer feelings and express themselves as to why um, they were dealing with other people or to offer emotion and offer healing to um, whatever this third party situation was. Yeah, we had the moon card in reverse. So something came out. And I feel like right now they're just kind of waiting and they're not letting go of this connection, but they're kind of just waiting to um, come in and ask for a second chance because they know that you need time. Um, and I feel like right now they're wanting to be involved with other people as well. Um, that's kind of just the energy that they're in. Yeah, because I feel like they just... Right now they know that they won't get what they're wanting from you, um, that there's needed time because there was something that came in and broke up and separated you two. So they can't get the fulfillment that they were getting and the love they were getting from you previously because of whatever came in and broke this apart. And so now they're just wanting to be single and mingle and maybe be involved with another connection for the time being until they come out of separation. But I feel like right now they're just giving you time because we have the queen of pen or the king of pentacles in reverse, the eight of pentacles in reverse and the 10 of pentacles. So they're wanting commitment with you. You're the person that they want to be with, but right now they're not willing to put in the work into this connection um, and move forward. They're wanting to just keep it kind of stagnant. You may be dealing with, an earth sign. There's a lot of pentacles in here. Um, where are we at? Why is the king of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, we have the five of wands and the seven of swords. So I feel like this person is wanting to keep things stagnant and not move forward with you when they may be moving forward with someone else or wanting to explore other options. And this is something that you're finding things about or you're finding you're finding out about these things. And it's like, you know, this person is being sneaky or trying to get something for their own fulfillment and to avoid a conflict or a fight or between you and this person or you and someone else or however it works. They just kind of take what they get, what they're wanting from this connection and then sneak off to the next and then come back to offer healing and hope to move forward. Because I feel like you're the one that they want to have the stability with, but they want to be sneaky and deceptive as well. 
So let's see what your advice is real quick. Mm -hmm. Says cheer up, live in the moment. I'm gonna clarify. Yeah, it's a we have the death card. So there's a transition that you need to make, and it's gonna be a rough one, I feel like, for a lot of you because you love this person. Maybe for some this is a marriage, um, or someone that you have kids with, or just a really serious or um yeah, really serious connection. And I feel like it's going to be hard for you to transition, but it's important to just stay in the present moment as you move toward um, getting out of this connection because I feel like it's unhealthy and this it has a certain pattern. Um, and the only way that it's going to be broken is if you move forward past this person for a lot of you is what I'm feeling. So just remember to... Try to stay as positive as you can through whatever transition that you're going through or need to go through. And I hope that this message resonated for you. You can check your sun, no, your moon or your rising sign as well as your Venus placement. You also can book a personal reading with me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.